Liberty Deathmatch. Whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality nerd commentary, we got my son Colton, aka Pizza Parker. So, to the people, it's your boy Colton, aka we opening up a Quidditch tournament style arena <laughs> in the heart of Brooklyn, in East New York, sir, in the heart of East New York. Probably, or maybe we might just put it in the middle of Ebbets Fields, nigga, <laughs> where everybody can just feel super unsafe and we just wild out. Nah, leave your wands at home, leave nigga. Leave your wands at home. We going crazy. Leave the guns at home, too. <laughs> Word. We, we in the danger. We in the danger room, the real life danger room. It's only hands against these <laughs> terrible creatures. And you know what? Just to up it, just to make it fair. Bring as many people as you want to fight these go. creatures. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see if you niggas, let's see if eight of you niggas can really fight a bear. <laughs> let's see you gonna be on mute for real, nigga. <laughs> let's see. Uh, you, the nigga who made a sound versus 50 <laughs> beehive members. Hey, yo, you gotta add that to the damn danger. Room. But yeah. Oh shit. All right. And as always, you know, our son Gas is in here floating around doing his thing. Savage, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, it's your boy Dennis, a.k.a. Old Dirty Dennis, a.k.a. Uh, Gattatooey, nigga, woo. a.k.a. Saddington Bear, a.k.a. Ooh. Snake in a Plain Star Designer. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to start you with the, with the app. <laughs> but why? Yo, welcome to another issue of the Mighty Better Humans podcast, bro. How you feeling? I'm feeling amazing, <laughs> as you can tell. Honestly, we've been having such great conversations, man, this year. <laughs> We working right now. Let's oh shit! All right. Um. So this episode is, you know, like we do, uh, danger room episodes. Mm. You guys know what to expect from our danger room episodes. So this one, I wanted to change it up, catch niggas with a little bit of a twist to the danger room. So this mm. danger room is actually the celebrity animal danger room. Oh. <laughs> So I'll put some shit together. <laughs> we haven't done one of these in a minute. Like we haven't done like a mashup danger nah, in a minute. We've been just going against dangerous creatures. So uh, my celebrity, uh, my first one. This is one of my favorites because I'm using animals. I want to set the scene. Wait, for is this is yeah. this like the shit that we made long ago? I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set the. I'm gonna set the the scene for this one. All right, this person. They're JFK. They get some problems with the TSA. You know what I mean? But they make it through. They get through. You know, the dangers on being on a plane. Person, they make it. They get to their flight. They last person. The, the, the door's going to close. They wasn't going to open that shit no more. As soon as they open the shit, they let the person on. They get in. They get to their seat. Window seat. Everything's looking good. Plane takes off. Everyone's happy. Niggas. Some of the corny niggas clap. You know, people like clap when plane takes off and lands all that shit. Cool. Shit's, in the, shit's looking good so far. In the air. There's argument back there. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? People start running to the front of the plane. This person looks around, doesn't know what's going on. And all they hear is a guy run past. And the guy says, There's snakes in the plane! <laughs> the person in mind that I'm talking about is Caesar from Planet of the Apes. So my first question to you is, On a plane... <laughs> First of all, is that racial? Second of all, how do we get how that wasn't the first say, person I, I thought. I did say the person had trouble getting through TSA. I did oh say that my shit. God, I still thought it was Samuel Jackson. No, sir. But you're right. Okay, so, it's Caesar. So now. The scenario for the first question is season from Planet of the Apes versus Snakes on a Plane. <laughs> who wins? <laughs> and who battle? <laughs> uh, you gotta shoot somebody. This is the scenario, and they on a plane. <laughs> is it gonna be Caesar? Caesar, Caesar. Caesar got you it. got Caesar versus. Caesar got it. It's a lot of snakes he got, on this he, plane. No, but he got. You gotta remember. <laughs> We only got two hands. 
ain't got four, ain't four snakes on his plane, nah, son. I know, but Snake. here's the thing. Yo, Caesar's <laughs> also a genetic freak, <laughs> like genius. And he can rally niggas to be shields. I don't, I don't know if the humans is gonna rally with the nah, monkeys, nah, nah. He's gonna, he's gonna make that nigga can talk. <laughs> you know, yo, first that's of all, gonna make it worse. No, nigga. you on a plane. I'm gonna be real, nigga. People are screaming, and the monkeys are like, "Go be real." I'm gonna be real, nigga. If I'm on a plane and I'm bugging out, and a monkey's telling me to relax, I'm chilling. <laughs> Cause I already probably think I died already, and this is just a dream. So but I thought, you, but I thought you was a rebel, son. You're not gonna be like, no, fuck that talk. No, because that's a this is a whole no new norm, nigga. Like this is not normal. Here's the thing about me being a rebel: I rebel against normal society. I don't rebel against shit that like don't make sense to me because it don't make sense to me. Like, it, here's it. I'm going to be real, oh, right? I'm crying. Son. Beyonce tell me everybody on mute. I'm going to shut up, but there's going to be a part of my mind that's like, I want to say something. An <laughs> uh, alien come down and go, everybody shut the fuck up. I am not saying shit because I already don't know what aliens are capable of. I know people could beat me up. I know Bayhop could beat me up. That's fine. I might, I might knock a few of y'all out. I don't know about aliens, nigga, or like a talking monkey. That's a whole different situation I've never been in. That's all I'm saying. I've never been in that situation. So, I don't know. I might be a little bit more cautious in there. I'm going to say if I had to choose, the snakes, I might the choose the snakes. And I'm going to say I'm going to choose the snakes because if it's a gang of snakes, we talking about like a snake, a plane full of snakes, like the shit that Samuel L. Jackson was going through. That's a lot of snakes. Then on top of that, yes, he is genetically enhanced and all that, but he also still has fear. That's a lot of snakes. I might be able to kill a few, but they swarm, nigga. Once he take the fire marshal gun, it's lit. <laughs> it's fucking lit. I don't care. I'm taking Caesar. Once the fire marshal die, Yo, he get I'm his crying, gun. It's son. fucking lit. We see what these them niggas want to war. Uh, <laughs> We don't know what snakes could do. No, nigga. I'm only saying no. And we, and we on a plane? There's more there. snakes than people in places. And if you give five niggas guns, they can take some fucking snakes out, nigga. So I'm not even jacking that. I think if you get the fire marshal gun, these snakes is cooked, nigga. They're fucking cooked. Because not only does he have a gun head, he got three arms, nigga. Two legs and an arm. That's, I don't know. I'm picking Caesar, bro. That's my I'm, logic. That's I'm, my logic. I feel like it's only because we're on a plane. Usually, we don't got a place where they can get weapons of some sort. I was like, so, you get the fire so, marshal gun. It's being over. on this confined space with these snakes. <laughs> True. These niggas know how to move in tight corners like Jay Z. And so, like these these niggas know how to move in a room full of vultures, my niggas. <laughs> Good thing he's a monkey. Good thing he's so a monkey. You put this nigga, he, he got to be able to, like, usually a monkey needs room to move around. Plane's he's not out that here, bro. You're so bugging. I'm just You're saying. bugging. See, you also, Caesar's things. not a gorilla. Caesar's a chimpanzee. You get he's these. taking off the carriage. <laughs> the, the, the carriage shit. He's jumping over the fucking shit. Thank you, Jolly. I don't know, son. I don't know. I don't know, I I don't like know if you ever seen it off. I don't know if you ever seen that YouTube video <laughs> and the monkeys pulling <laughs> tiger's tails and then jumping back up. That nigga, them niggas' reflexes is pretty good, bro. I'm basing all of this on YouTube knowledge. Look <laughs> what I see. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> so we tie for the first. We one. tie for the first one. We tie for the first one. That's all. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, continue, continue. Second one. This some wild shit. <laughs> they got my boy. I felt like he didn't. He 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 got. He didn't get a fair. Uh, she didn't get a fair. Uh, 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 uh opportunity. But she she worked with what she had. Okay. Cocaine bear. <laughs> <laughs> Off the off the off the white off, off the, the white, white off the white off the white like in the prime of the white yeah, of the prime, like at the, prime at, the, at, the peak, at the where peak, you can't feel nothing at and the you peak, mad strong and you mad fast at the peak yeah yeah okay versus kung fu panda nigga who you oh, <laughs> well. now I'm gonna be real man cocaine bear not surviving that one no way out of that one cocaine bear's getting fucked up I'm gonna be real. Kung Fu oh. Panda, let, let's talk about Poe real quick. Poe is one of the most whimsical motherfuckers of all time. 
but that nigga will fuck you up. Oh no matter God. how vicious you are. <laughs> now, cocaine bear's going to be moving crazy, but I can already see crazy, Poe son. flipping over the nigga, <laughs> stepping on his foot, doing a jig, nigga, going to get <laughs> going to get dumplings while like they trying to fight. Like He would do mad whimsicals. He winning. I feel like... He winning. He I in the more whimsical I, series. I feel like he... he def- no karate. I feel like he definitely wins, <laughs> but he doesn't clear. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying he smoke it. Because, like, here's the thing about him, right? When he fight vicious opponents, they they hurt him. Yeah. So I feel like he wins, but he doesn't clear. He he might clear if the high runs out. But at the peak, them niggas going neck and neck. Because I don't feel nothing, nigga. I'm saying he going to keep hitting it. Yeah. It's going to keep... Eventually, (laughs) eventually, he going to wear him down. The high is going to run off, and this nigga's going to get the victory. Let me say it like this, realistically. He going to leave with a really cool scar. Yes. He gonna leave with a really cool. Hundred percent. He gonna win though, but he gonna leave with a really, gonna, really cool. Yeah, star. he gonna he gonna fight. Like he gonna be doing all his whimsical shit. He gonna get like dumplings, and then he gonna get slashed in the face or some shit. And then he gonna be serious and beat the nigga ass <laughs> and beat him to death. It's gonna be crazy. We ain't never gonna see that side of Poe ever. <laughs> Niggas gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wasn't that Jack Black? Yo, moving crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So all right. So we basically uh, agree. Kung Fu Panda yeah, Kung clears. Fu Panda got that. Um, third. This is uh, genetically modified niggas with guns. So we got a uh, Earthworm Jim, okay, versus Rocket Raccoon. It should be clear, Rocket, Rocket, Rocket. I'm just saying, Rocket. my nigga is pretty whimsical. Earthworm Jim is pretty whimsical. I will say that once Earthworm Jim's suit is out of here, then like, he's, done. he's done. He's finished. So like, he's finished. And Rocket's smarter than him. That's true, so, yeah, but he like, he balances the smartness with the whimsical. Yeah. So why? But you... I'm not gonna lie, Rocket's pretty whimsical himself. It took I, him a while, but a, he still. Here's the thing about Rocket, right? He's serious because he's a trash panda. <laughs> I feel like I've read enough comics with him and Deadpool and like matter the whimsical characters, right? They keep him on that weird, like serious whimsical line. Okay. Where I feel like. Because once Earthworm Jim's suit is fucked, he's just it's an over. Earthworm, yeah, and like he's if, just Jim at that point. Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon gets fucked up to some point where he's about to die. He'll take both of them out. <laughs> That's true. So in my mind, I feel like more times, like ten times, they fight each other. Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon, either wins or they tie because he like takes himself out. Okay, okay, because I feel like the whimsical balances the smart. Aspect while Rocket does have some whimsical to him, Earthworm Jim is pure he's whimsical. whimsical yeah. So while he's not as intelligent, I feel like the, the whimsical the tune force is very fucking crazy. Exactly, I feel like that balances it out because whatever you try to do to me, if I turn that into a whimsical cartoon, like then it doesn't count. So I do feel like Rocket would have to take them both out because there's no clear way to beat whimsical. I like, feel like Rocket would have it though, only because he has he has a little slight more whimsical. In him to his serious shit. Okay. Okay. And so, also it don't it helps that James Gunn like helped yeah, the road. That, well, that's true. That's true. He does have they technically they all have Toon Force in them. That's true. That's true. Um, all right. So my next one, we haven't got a chance to see this person in full action. And I regret this, but it was something that I wanted to see and I couldn't find it after I found out about this shit. So the first person is Robin Hood, the Fox. Okay. The animated, Disney, yeah, yeah, the Disney animated movie? fox. Yeah, he go crazy. Versus the Slother House Sloth, nigga. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Slother House Sloth yes. got it. Yeah, Slother House Sloth got it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. I am. I am like, yo, I gotta say this. It's gonna sound crazy. But if somebody who can't fucking move faster than point. Zero 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 miles per hour can kill you. <laughs> Their brain moves at flash speeds. That's true. You can't stop them. So the fact that he's moving at normal speed in that movie and can still kill anyone, is, I feel like he got to Like it, this got to be like a level of prep time that Batman wish he could do. Because like think about it, like sloths. If a sloth was walking towards you. But he thought about all the different possibilities of what could happen before his so hands. So it's crazy because I seen the clip 
Shorty turned around, seen him, got startled, fell into like a night that the nigga already set up. And I was like, how did he do that? How did he know at that moment she was going to turn, see him go, oh, shit, it's not. And then fall backwards into a fucking knife. Now, here, here's another thing. When I'm a cop that pulls up, <laughs> there's a knife on the ground pointing upwards, and I see a sloth. I'm not thinking the sloth did that. Yeah, exactly. My first my, my first thought process did is, this? how did this happen? This was some unlikely-ass weird event that happened. She probably seen a random sloth. We got to get the sloth out this house, first of all. <laughs> this sloth can't be watching murder. I exactly. love sloths. Why they do this to me? So yeah, continue. But that's why I feel like I'm going to lean with I, the sloth. I fuck with the sloth. Because one, it had like the claw hands in that murder movie that was only lasted like two days in theaters. And I'm while I do, while I do like uh, Robin Hood, the fox, I feel like he's agile. Uh, you know, he knows his way around with weapons and shit like that. If the slot gets in, it's over. And I'm it's moving gonna, normal. I'm not going to lie. When when it's fast versus slow in like whimsical settings, never pick the faster <laughs> thing. I'm not even joking. Like, unless, like, you talking about the, the Roadrunner versus, like, Wiley Coyote, yeah. Coyote, Coyote, and every other, like, the tortoise and the hare. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if you thinking about, like, this shit, like, Robin Hood's agile, he's a fox, foxes are fast, they're clever, they do this, they, he's also wild fucking confident. Yeah, he is And cocky. he's gonna see a sloth and be like, ha ah, ah. ha! I'm gonna dance around it and he's get gonna, he's gonna, murdered! He's gonna do the Voldemort. He's gonna over overact it and get and all that sm- all that sloth needs is one good poke. He gonna like and Robin Hood's gonna think he got it and he gonna run in mad fast. And the sloth, since the beginning of the fight, the only thing he was trying to do was put his claw up like this exactly. so that the nigga could run into it. And, <laughs> and he, he is trip, going to run into trip it and, fall and run into, into it. And then shit. we're all gonna be like, how the fuck? Fangu is gonna go sloth, crazy. Dude. They're going to have to pay out mad money. They're going to pay us out because yeah. we already bet on the sloth. Yeah, okay. the whole, and now we own the arena. <laughs> like, now it's the mighty man. He was danger room. Like, just like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. The Definitely got to go with the sloth. Got to go with the sloth. Um, the next one, I thought this was going to be uh interesting. I know who I'm going to pick, even though it's going to be a little whimsical. I still feel like that person uh is going to win this fight. So, we have the Battle of the Cats. We have Puss in Boots. Versus Tom Cat. <laughs> Tom from Tom and Jerry? No, Tom Cat. The old school Tom Cat that used to wear like the little jacket. Hanna Barbera. He used to be, he used oh, to be Tom Cat, nigga. Is the nigga with the sword? Or am I thinking uh, about uh, He else? was like a gangster right there. Tom Cat. Oh, the gangster cat. Yes, nigga. The gangster cat that was out there in them streets the whole time just uh doing that. Yeah, Tom Cat. There you go. And look at images. Tomcat. Yeah. Oh, they don't even got the shit here? Oh, wow. It's a Hanna Barbera, though, or some shit like that. There you go, in the purple, nigga. Tomcat. Tomcat. Yeah. Tomcat. Nah, it's still Tom. They got the niggas Tom. Oh, oh. It's Tomcat. Oh, they call him Tom. All right. Top well, cat, yeah, okay. Top yeah. Cat. yeah, Tomcat, nigga. He was out there with them cops. It was Tomcat versus who you said? Puss in Boots? Puss in Boots. I got big Puss in Boots, bro. Ah, uh, I don't know, Sam. My nigga been fighting all his life. He been out in these streets. He have, you got seen, that. have you seen all three Puss in Boots movies? I've seen the first two. You have, to watch, you have to watch the last one. All because... I know is the nigga has some PTSD going on, and I don't care. I don't think Tomcat give a fuck about that shit, nigga. And he don't fight fair, he might show up to the uh, sword fight with a gun, nigga. Like, and he got the homies with him. It's like seven of them niggas. Yeah, but is it Top Cat and gang, or is it just It's Top always Cat? gang when you in these streets, nigga. What are you talking about? Nah, because then it would be Top see, Cat and gang, because they no, have no, no, names. No. See, see, Top this, Cat is not this, only him. This is, this is, this, see, this is going to be the fundamental difference. Puss, Puss and Boots is more honorable. Top Cat was in these streets hustling, nigga. Hustling. Puss and Boots is not that honorable. You got to watch the recent one. Because he, he used to roll Dolo. He don't roll Dolo no more. He got the little cute dog shit. And then he got a shorty that's like Puss and Boots. But she's an assassin. Ah, uh, like okay, assassin. okay, okay, so okay. So I'm just saying that, like, we got to... And also, <laughs> whimsical. This is from the Shrek universe. So... These are Hanna-Barbera niggas. You don't get more whimsical than these I'm niggas. I'm saying that <laughs> I still Even might the pick... Even I might pick Puss and Boots... <laughs> Only because 
<laughs> if it's just Top Cat versus Puss in Boots, I'm picking Puss in Boots. Even though Top Cat, I'm sure, because he's a hand of our he can pull the ground. Like Yo, this. you gonna pull the he ground out of this shit, shit. Like yeah. Loopy shit. You right? gonna pull out a whole blicky but, out of his vest or some shit? I've also seen Puss in Boots in his movies avoid whimsical shit. He's very good reaction. He's he's like a cartoon cat, which is like uh, I guess what Top Cat is also. I don't know. I haven't. I also haven't watched enough Top Cat to really just choose him. I, I got. I feel like I gotta see his reaction every time and shit. <laughs> I do know that he always just get away from this cop because this cop's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> but like, I've never seen a cop apply pressure like Puss in Boots would apply pressure, bro. I gotta see somebody apply pressure to him like Puss in Boots would apply pressure, and maybe I would pick him. But I dead feel like Puss in Boots would get his ass because he would never had anyone as aggressive be on his ass. I feel like I gotta go with him only because this nigga's living that street life. You look at that first picture; these niggas is always outside. Puss in Boots, not even though he's in Spain. I mean, he's he a street cat. Nigga. He he he's a street cat, but I feel like this nigga's going through some hardship. This nigga got the cops on him at all times. This nigga's. Always on his toes. Bro, you always got to think of I your feet. I promise you got to like, watch the third got, Puss in Boots. I promise. <laughs> you got to watch. I'm going to watch Top Cat. You watch the third Puss in Boots and we got to revisit this. Nah, because I'm going to pick Puss in Boots and you pick Top Cat, but we got to we gotta make a, a side episode. Okay. Based off of that. okay, 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 okay. So if you're listening or you're watching this, we want to hear your opinion on Puss in Boots. Top Cat or Puss in Boots? I feel like Top Cat has got that whimsical, that Hannah Barbera shit in the back pocket, son. All right, so the next one, we're going to do, um, I won't call these niggas rejects because they're not rejects. We're going to call the failed group experiment. And this is going to be the Street Sharks versus the Biker Mice from Mars. Who do you have? Biker Mice from Mars. The niggas are full size. They're not small mice. They're grown ass mice. Super, super large oh, mice. They, these yo, niggas I remember these niggas. They yo. used to go crazy. And they all got their bikes. <laughs> Versus the street sharks. Hold on, we got we might have to do a deep dive. <laughs> I might gotta see what what niggas' abilities is. I gotta I might gotta see powers because street sharks, right? They was like genetically mutated niggas sharks. that yeah, was balling that could just yeah. turn into bigger sharks, which would mean like they would just have you know more strength than a normal human. Uh, they probably would have like crazier senses, like of but smell and shit. We talking about mice. We talking that about survive, mice that can survive space travel on motorcycles to Mars. And also, one of them is a cyborg. <laughs> All I'm one saying is, is cyborg, it's not bro. as clear cut as niggas might think. I feel like, hold on, hold on bro, hold on, bro. I'm I doing, like... I'm doing reconnaissance right now. I gotta do the reconnaissance. This is a reconnaissance episode. <laughs> Half man, half shark. Hmm. I mean, it's ninety science. You know what I mean? So a lot of shit can go down in terms of their okay, genetic okay, okay, enhanced okay. bodies. They explaining. They explaining uh, what <laughs> niggas could do. Okay, okay. I, I can read it out loud. All right. We got Ripster, nigga. That was my favorite nigga. He was the great white nigga, right? Yeah. He becomes a great white, able to bite through steel as well as have extra sensory abilities. Okay. Boom. Jab. Hammerhead shark. He could use his head like a battering ram, right? He was also a boxer. He's also a boxer. Remember that. Okay. Um, streets, streaks. Oh, that nigga, that nigga lit. Yeah, that's an ill name. Uh, he becomes a tiger shark. They didn't explain what tiger sharks do. So he just, but he, he just, just I guess he's shark. fast as shit. And he be on rollerblades. Mm. Oh yeah, he's a rollerblade. There's nigga. a nigga okay, named okay. Slamu, well shark. He's just strong as shit. He's like probably the strongest nigga. He's a skateboard nigga. So those are the four. Those are the four. Okay. Right. Okay. So now we got to talk about the mice because they look like they their mm-hmm. fucking shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The mice ain't like, got it. The first nigga shit is kind of nuts. Nigga lost sight in the incident on Mars. Yo. Yo. Didn't and he I was say? given a bionic <laughs> eye. He feels specs capability. So this nigga, nigga got right, the Renegan. So he got an her. eye where basically you just like count <laughs> everything that's juices, happening, nigga. right? So Mato, <laughs> that nigga lost his right arm in the same incident where the nigga lost his face and the other nigga lost his sight, right? Oh, shit. So he has a bionic arm. Yo. When he's angry, his right eye flashes red. <laughs> he's prone to fits of rage. Christ. Yo. Oh, he has a built-in laser cannon. And all right, nigga. Strength. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. All right, relax. Hold on, hold on. And then the last one, the nigga lost his face. 
Yeah. Right? In the same incident. Uh 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 uh. Where's the green cross belt and chest wheels? And then I mean, Harley is biting oh, shit. With Rush. He's an adrenaline junkie. So that means off adrenaline, adrenaline that, that nigga's already like gonna be hard to beat. He's not feeling shit. So that's I'm what trying I'm trying to saying, figure out like, what his powers is. They Despite his hyper masculinity. So he just he just the nigga that just like he don't feel shit. He yeah. just be wild. He the wild card nigga. Exactly. So, so you put a nigga like that and a nigga with laser eyes. Oh, nigga. so the nigga, the one nigga has an eye that could just survey the battlefield and figure out everything that's, that's going on. Sharon he also Gun. has a powered glove called Nuke Nux. <laughs> And a holster laser pistol. Listen, Street Sharks is going home early, nigga. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I might have to watch Biker Mars Mice from Mars. Those and niggas it, got the W <laughs> kind of easily. The one nigga has players, a bionic arm with extended strength and a laser. The other nigga can see the field and survey every situation that's happening. Oh, saying, the other saying. nigga. His face just burned. He just wears a mask. Yo. He don't even got powers. And that then, nigga just be wild. And then you, you gotta also and think about their dexterity because, because these niggas don't mice, wear... Yeah. Not even just because they're mice. These niggas don't put on suits to go into space. And they ride their bikes into space. The vacuum of space on flesh and it does nothing to these niggas. They're mice. Bro, they're not... They're like life-size mice. Imagine life-size mice. So that would just mean that like... Especially because, like, a big-ass shark on the street is not as effective unless... They, like, I feel like they're way stronger in water. You and know I what do, I'm saying? And I do feel like they Where, have a limitation because they still have, like, human legs. Yeah, so even then, mice are mice. So if a mice is, is human-sized... It can it can run way faster than a human. It's and already got, way stronger. The than niggas the human. on bikes, bro. The niggas is on bikes, <laughs> and they have bionic parts. Like they don't even With have lasers, break. and, and shit, they have guns. Man. Yeah, like street sharks do. Street shark, they don't have guns. No, they don't have weapons, son. They just bite. The nigga bite through steel. That don't matter when a nigga shoot you in the face already. <laughs> like with his laser arm, you could like bite through his arm. Feet away. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. It would literally have to be a situation where the street sharks literally catch them off guard and not only catches them off guard, but they somehow disable the nigga that can see shit before time. The great white nigga bites the nigga's arm yep. off and then they somehow incapacitate the psycho nigga. That's a lot of... That, that's a lot of things to that happen could go mad wrong. perfectly <laughs> and I feel like maybe two out of ten times it'll go right. And then... Those two times, I only feel like one time they'll have one person will at least have to die. Yeah, one person will at least have to die because I feel like the the I don't even know these niggas, but based off of what I'm reading from them, it just seems like these niggas just go in and, and murder shit. And you gotta also factor in uh the amount of strength you need to just be walking around on like fucking Mars, nigga. Yeah. And if Earth's they gravity Earth, if Earth's Earth. gravity is easier than all these other planets to like maneuver yeah. on, nigga, I am ten times faster on your planet. So that means I am not only They're bugging. They're yo, bugging. I'm They're that means I'm better than you in space. Cause if we fight in space, you're done. They can't. And if we fight on Earth, nigga, you're still Man, fucked I'm up. I'm even gonna be real. <laughs> if they fight in water, these niggas have been used to crazy gravity, so they might move crazy in water too. Who these knows? Niggas came prepared, and so. they're also mice. Yes, so they figure shit out quickly, quickly. quickly. Hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> like the mice from Mars, I'll fuck with street sharks, but the niggas on them bikes. Yeah, I can't lie. Yeah, you, <laughs> I looked it up, and I was just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This the, the oh shit. shit all right next, next one, one this one i don't know if this is easy we might lean in i might lean into the whimsical battle of the pigs we got babe versus peppa pig babe 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 the pig nigga versus i'm picking peppa i'm picking peppa i feel like we if we lean into the whimsical the cartoon shit i'm already 2d nigga like i can slide through shit like i get through crevices that too I feel, I feel like Peppa. Uh, this I, I feel like out of out of all that we've done so far, this might have been like the easiest easy. easiest one to call. Gotta, Gotta go with Peppa Pig. Shout out, babe, but like, Shout nigga, out. I would turn you into bacon. But <laughs> Peppa Pig gonna, gonna turn you into bacon, bacon nigga. Turn me into bacon, yeah. Um. All right. Next one, we doing we doing super strong niggas. 
This one kind of came on my uh, just random walks through the hood. We got Underdog versus Mighty Mouse, nigga. Who you got? Because Underdog is, they're basically the same character, technically. And I only remember that because I seen the Hong Kong, Hong yeah. Kong fooey Ooh. shit of the block. Um, I take Underdog. Okay. Because okay. I remember watching Underdog compared to Mighty Mouse, and I feel like. And this is hilarious because I'm psychologizing cartoon characters yeah. that are whimsical. <laughs> but like, I feel like when you're mad confident and like hype about what you do, that's you doing your best. I feel like when you don't care and you do some crazy shit, you're not even trying. Mighty Mouse be like, hmm. I mean, Underdog be like, hmm, I don't, hmm, whatever. Hmm. Mad, fo- like, bro, you're wilding. You're picking up mad, crazy shit. Underdog, he go crazy. That's my boy, man. I fuck with Underdog, man. Underdog, like, he's confident, but he also, like, kind of do more than I always think he'll do. I feel like when I see Mighty Mouse, it's like, I don't know, maybe because mice are smaller. Like I'm I see what uh Mighty Mouse is about to do, and I'm just like, yeah. I look at underdog and I'm just like it's hard for me to like give a clear winner because I feel like they're the same person. Uh yeah, they're the same person. I feel like depending on how you feel about uh size, that beat that factors into uh your advantage or not, because it's gonna be harder to hit Mighty Mouse because he's so fucking small. But he's small, but he hits just as hard as you. Oh, look and at he's this, fast. Look, at, look at Underdog's fit, though, bro. <laughs> tell me this nigga, he's not trying, bro. Like, yo, you got, you're going to tell me a nigga dressed like this is trying mad hard? And then look at Mighty look Mouse. At Mighty this Mouse. nigga's yo. Diesel, son. Yo, but I'm just saying, when you look and I'm at... small. When you look at Mighty Mouse, he literally looks like he gives a fuck to look strong. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like maybe that's why I'm picking Underdog, because... Mighty Mouse dead looks like he it like I would look at a mouse like like Mighty Mouse and be like that mouse will fuck me up. <laughs> that mouse is dead gonna fuck me up. Like I would look at Underdog with his baggy ass clothing and be like With I Thomas. think I could I could probably I think I got a chance. I might could I run this dog <laughs> like. <laughs> And I feel like Mighty Mouse will underestimate this nigga and get rocked. Son. Okay, okay. So if we if we lean into the underdog trope, I do hitting it on the nose. Okay, okay. I could kind of see dead, why like, Mighty I would Mouse... go with him. Because honestly, I would in first instinct I would go with Mighty Mouse because I feel like getting hit by something so small repeatedly oh, yeah. Yeah, at full smoke, speed, yeah. like I should be able to smoke anything. But at the same time, the whimsicalness of him being nonchalant. As underdog, it's my give kinda, him the he'll advantage. have an advantage because, like, yo, just really imagine, like, uh, oh, guys, I, when I edit this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put time into editing this video. I'm gonna put the pictures of like everybody up, <laughs> but like, think about this situation. You're in a whimsical world, and you need to be saved. What year and- did Mighty Mouse come out? Because this shit came out in '64. Or 1942. Jesus. Damn. Okay. Because yeah. I was going to oh, yeah. say like maybe it has like the underdog has the whimsical. Because I mean the older the cartoon, the more whimsical. Yeah, but the they they changed it up. They made it like I I like it because even the play on the name underdog like that, that shit is like dope. But I feel like just imagine the situation. You're in a whimsical world. You're about you need to be saved, and a brolic ass mouse in like a Superman type yellow and orange costume pops out and. Grabs you and flies you out the building. I'd be like, oh shit, this is fucking jarring. But like, <laughs> he just saved my life. Facts. If he pop, like Mighty Mouse used to pop in and be like, Mighty Mouse. And I'd be like, oh, this nigga know what he's doing. I I'm bet. safe. I'm, 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 I'm with you. Underdog used to pop, pop out with his baggy ass suit and flex, nigga. I would be like, we're fucked, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh my God! We have a, this flying dog. What can this flying dog do with this baggy ass suit? Why is suit not fitted, bro? And then he start washing shit. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> I judged. I prejudged you mad horribly. I That's feel true. like he That's has. True. I feel like he got the advantage 
where like Mighty Mouse would talk nasty shit and flex, and then he would flex, and Mighty Mouse would be like, ah, you bitch, and then he would get smoked. Okay, okay. Estimating the nigga. That that that's a fair assessment because honestly, I have no other way for them to beat each other because they're literally the same character. They're all basically Superman, super strength. Yeah. Um. All right. So next one. I guess, yeah, we could agree, uh, underdog. Um, next one, we have someone that I felt, uh, you know, we're talking all these powers and shit. Someone that's uh, more grounded. And we are going to have the master of disguise, Darkwing Duck. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Versus another nigga, he don't fight crime. You know what I mean? He's all about vibes. He just want to chill. My nigga, happy feet. Darkwing Duck, versus <laughs> Darkwing Duck versus Happy Feet. That nigga can move. Penguins are vicious. Them niggas are, them niggas are definitely problems. I was looking for a whimsical way out of this, but we can't. <laughs> yeah, Darkwing Duck about to put that nigga in the fucking blender. <laughs> wow, we got Darkwing Duck beating Happy Feet. Okay, okay. Nigga said wow. Wow. Like, crazy I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just saying we have penguins are Vicious fucking creatures. Yeah. He is slightly ones because he's 3D and he tap dances. He not fighting nobody. That means this nigga got feet, son. All right, this if nigga is a, crazy. If it was a dance battle, he would win. Just saying but a nigga with that kind of life. dexterity, that type of movement, you know what I mean? That nigga used to get slapped around. I watch Happy Feet. I love that movie. By other penguins. <laughs> I've never Dark seen Darkwing Duck move would like literally that. put himself in the <laughs> penguin suit and slap this nigga up, son. You know he would. You know he would just for the lols, nigga. And beat him in a dance in a happy feet battle. Just for the lols. Oh, and slap shit, him up. I'm It'd be crazy. We'd be like, is it two happy feet right now? It's a happy feet battle? That other, that other penguin mad cartoon like, what's going on? Oh, shit. I'm just saying it wasn't going to be close. Because I feel like a nigga with feet, he's kind of like a Sanji type. So they're going to fight with feet. And I feel like if it comes down to a battle of combat I mean, and, ever and sh- I'm moving crazy, and we've... That's assuming we fighting on Darkwing Duck's territory. Nigga, if we fighting in the cold, you dealing with the cold. You a duck. You dealing with the cold. You dealing with glaciers and shit. You on my territory, nigga. I move here. I schmove here. You can bring all I your toys. I've never seen Happy Feet fight <laughs> anybody a day in his life, even when he was an adult. That shit is crazy. How you could just even believe in this nigga in any type of sense. The I only thing, if it's a, to if it's it, a it's not fucking a real, dance it's not a battle, penguin, if it's, it's a, a all I'm saying penguin, is if it's a son. dance battle, he got that shit. <laughs> One thousand percent. But if it's any combat, it's over for him, bro. Yo, Darkwing Duck wears jackets. He's going to be fine. <laughs> oh, shit. I still not count my son out completely. I'm but gonna... I understand why Darkwing Duck would be the more popular pick. I'm that's crying. all I'm saying. Um, Next one. This is a team battle. As put together a team. And I feel like this is going to go one of two ways. You're either going to go extremely left or extremely right. Oh, my God. We got, for the team battle, SWAT Cats versus Star Fox and Secret Squirrel. <laughs> so we got tech on one side, full crazy yeah, tech. Star SWAT, Fox and, and, and then you Squirrel. Got Star then, Fox and Secret Squirrel. Star and then Fox and Secret Squirrel. I told you it was going to go Fox either one way or the other. Because if you, you already start, telling me some fucking military yo, cats yo, are going to be a space cat and like so, some fucking like super tech when cat. You, when, you see, when you see how Star Fox move in Smash Brothers, that nigga's moving kind of crazy. And he got a ship just Niggas, like they got a ship. Falco, Star Fox, and Wolf by themselves could smoke the SWAT cats. So him and Secret Squirrel is OD. And then you got Secret Squirrel with hidden rockets in Secret the jacket. Secret Squirrel is OD. He's cooking them. Secret Squirrel with the, is with the cooking whimsical them. shit. <laughs> oh with my God. Secret wing. Squirrel is... He can cook them by himself. That's the crazy part. Like, Secret Squirrel can literally cook them by himself. 
Oh so my here, God. yeah, you're bugging. Me. You're wilding out. <laughs> yeah, and like, and yo, and SWAT cats not even whimsical. That's the crazy part. Like they're they dead ass just SWAT cats. Like they're dead ass just military trained cats, nigga. Like they would get fucking washed. Oh like out out the ship, they're getting super washed. In the ships, they're getting washed because <laughs> like, yo, nigga, this nigga fucking <sighs> Star Fox. Is from the fucking future, nigga. <laughs> like the nigga has laser guns. Like his ship has lasers. They don't have bullets and oh, missiles. <laughs> fucking death lasers, nigga. It's over for you. And then you trying to fight a squirrel that his head could open up and turn into some technology <laughs> shit. It's over for you. That nigga hit y'all niggas with an EMP, son, and you crash all of y'all ships. Then y'all out the ship, and he can just snipe y'all in the air with his squirrel arm, nigga. That's a, a what are y'all doing? That's a, that's the worst. You put them up against the worst niggas of all time. They would have probably had a better chance against the street sharks. <laughs> we gonna eventually do like a a, a a March Madness tournament and put all these niggas Yo, in like brackets or some shit. We gonna add more crazy. people. You just set uh, up the, <laughs> Yo, any SWAT cat fans in the AK the, the the Facebook section, the Facebook group, y'all niggas is cooked. Y'all not making it past no brackets, nigga. Everybody else got Yo, nigga, there's mice in Mars right now with like technology way beyond human yeah, comprehension. <laughs> My bad. Continue, man. That shit is crazy. Swat Cats is over. The Swat is... America, yo. The America life? Street Sharks got smoked oh, by niggas from Mars. The Swat Cats got smoked by niggas from space and like a, a fucking cyborg. Come on, man. We gotta step our shit oh, up. Holy shit. I'm crying, son. This is why I had my son Top Cat holding it down for America. Not gonna lie, I gotta watch Top Cat, man. <laughs> oh shit. Top All Cat right. might be the only nigga that actually <laughs> doing something for America. Oh shit. All right. So my next one is Battle of the Whimsical Dogs. Oh, let's go. We got Pork Chop from Doug versus Snoopy. Oh damn! You counted my son out that fast. No, but pork chop, pork chop has an amazing imagination. He See, does. Imagination, know what I'm saying, here's the thing, though. You ain't even named the best whimsical dog that could just beat everybody. Because then that would have been too easy. Well, son. they can't beat everybody. I think they're an underrated whimsical dog, and it's even crazier because they're real. <laughs> You know exactly what I'm talking about. I do. I it's do. Smoke these <laughs> My boy was a slave. Oh. <laughs> the smell dog beating my boy. I don't care. I'm saying it. Nobody beating Wishbone. I'm picking Wishbone in this battle. Wishbone going to pop out as Thomas Jefferson signed the Declaration of Independence and then fucking in this whole battle, nigga. The most whimsical dog of all time. I don't care. You said Snoopy versus uh, 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 Doug Chop. Doug, 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 Chop. Yeah. See... Because he got an imagination. Okay, so him, him and Doug be going thing, into some shit. Here's the thing I will say, right? Oh, uh, shit. If it's an imagination battle... Uh, it's still tough. I'm more aligned with Porkchop because his imagination was in tune to like our child. Where Snoopy's imagination was really old school ass. I'm fighting niggas in planes. I'm fighting the Japanese. It was a limited imagination. Crazy ass imagination. But I will say, if it's a battle and we have, it's like some Green Lantern shit. Like we have to use all the things we've ever imagined. Porkchop. Each other. Nah, Porkchop don't win. Nah, I feel like he got got a bigger imagination, son. This nigga has shown more. Uh, I've, seen the pork chop, I've seen the the pork chop mech, like the the mech robot that uh-huh. he made in his mind, and I was like, "That's pretty dope." But I've never I've made, seen I've seen pork chop be, be a superhero with Doug. I did see him be the superhero Quail Man. But here's the thing: <laughs> Snoopy has also been. So I will say that it's Snoop, like you know why Snoopy? No, no, you know why Snoopy only wins because of seniority. It doesn't matter because there's way more. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. There's way more peanut comics of Snoopy just doing 
whatever, that I would just be like, if it really came down to imagination, the nigga who had more time. Okay. 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 So I think Snoopy would be on some like kind of like some OG. I have too much uh, okay. constructs. Like on some Green Lantern. Like, it would okay, be like okay, a. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. You it would, have more experience with it. It would be like. John Stewart versus Kyle Rayner. You know okay. what I'm saying? Where Kyle Rayner would be pork chop. Yeah. Because he has more imagination. But John Stewart, because he's been around longer and because he is used his power better, experience. Like he would probably come out on top in that moment. But I will say that if this was like, I don't know, man, because <laughs> pork chop can't win. <laughs> he, he is more it, like modern. I feel like modern thinking does bring more um limitations. Lim- not limitate not not limitations, it actually breaks the limitation. Cause I feel like with with a Snoopy, even though there's mad years of Snoopy doing shit, Snoopy's never like been in a mech. Ever done like a probably more still has like things like probably he could probably use nukes. Like, mad shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, it sounds crazy, but, like, he probably use mad shit, right? But, like, Porkchop is also chill and, like, also mad artistic and, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I can see it, how people would pick Porkchop, but I will say, based off seniority and time and the shit that I've actually seen compared to Gotta like, lean with Snoopy. I might gotta lean with Snoopy. Okay, okay. Just to keep shit, uh, shake shit up, I'm gonna go with Porkchop because I do feel like he's not, he's, he might not be the old school type of cartoon where he's super whimsical, but this nigga's been a superhero. This nigga's been a secret agent. This nigga's done all types of crazy shit. So he could hold his own yeah. against the whimsical shit. Cause it's like if Snoopy, yeah, Snoopy's doing the war shit with the bullets and like nukes, nigga, I'll just be a superhero. Like I fought in space with Doug. We, me and Quill, man, that's my nigga. Like, so I would I like to see like, both of them as their like superhero forms it. fight each other because I'd again, like to see a whimsical while uh, while Porkchop made himself like super like crypto, so has Snoopy. Like because Superman is the most em- like emulated. We gonna parody this. So they, yeah. I remember they made like this nigga like Superman one time, and I was just like, ooh, okay, y'all could cheat. I don't know. They just gonna I, be fighting each other forever. Yeah, maybe. I feel like it'll just be a stalemate. Um, the, the next, next one, one, this is going to be interesting because this is more about, um, old versus new and it would require, uh, a little bit of research if you don't, if it doesn't like you guys listening, don't know the names off top. So the first person, a very lovable, uh, lovable guy. I've, I, I haven't met anybody that dislikes this guy at all. Tony, Tony Chopper. <laughs> versus... The Samurai Pizza Cats. <laughs> they are very fucking whimsical. And they also have the power of narration on their side. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody say about One Piece. Y'all, uh, One Piece is lit. We love One Piece. Samurai Pizza Cats is on that ass. Yo. <laughs> I just feel like they got the technology on their side. All right. We're going to read something. We're going to read something. No, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Because um, it's just only, it's just only one chopper. That's like the problem. Like if, and these niggas have technology. They got technology. They got like bro. Mega Man suits. They got suits. They got giant mechs. They they're ninjas. They have the more. Like I said, they got the 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 power of narration. So they break fourth walls. But so but, they do all but that then shit. Again, uh, I will say though, yeah, they got it. They're, they're way like, more whimsical. Like yeah. it, it, One Piece is whimsical, but I will say. To One Piece's credit, they stopped being too whimsical. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I, I liked it more. But like, like these niggas what, are these lines, They whimsical. lean into the whimsical, son. And I feel like that... Because Chopper has more... Clearly, he has more forms. So he could deal with them in different ways. If he needs speed, he could do speed. If he needs strength, he can get strength. He can turn into the super big thing. He can do all these different things. He has the 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 hit point shit. He has problem, the karate move. My the... only problem with niggas that don't have the full tune force is that like when you're hurt, you're hurt. When niggas have the tune force, like I remember, I used to watch the show. That's what I'm like, saying. It would be like a nigga gets stabbed, mad blood pours out. He goes, and the next scene, he's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so like, like they're gonna do that. They too. could literally do some shit where they got injured, and like I said, they have the power of narration, and the narrator just says the pizza guys were they were. 
destroyed. But somehow, in the they next scene, pizza. they're perfectly they found fine. Pizza. Niggas and, found pizza, and now they're good. Like, yeah, pizza, Saint Rob Pizza Cast. They're I mean, way more whimsical. I, I hate that Toon Force is the strongest thing it ever is, that ever and existed. The funny part about this conversation is. Luffy's responsible for the new age Toon Force, yeah, and it just cost him a teammate. <laughs> he brought it into the realm of new cartoons about being whimsical, and now this shit is the deciding force in all of these type of fucking I'll battles. Just, I just want the world to know that I started using whimsical, and then the world was like, "We like that." <laughs> you know, and the world became way more whimsical. Way more you know whimsical, what? son. I love it. So the next battle, I thought this was going to be uh, interesting. Um, I tried to make it as like competitive as possible because we're winding down. Uh, Free Willy, Orca. Already know how these niggas move. My first thought was, I should give these niggas jaws. But sharks are afraid of orcas. That's not going to do nothing. So if I'm going to use a shark, I got to use a mega shark. And I decided to go with Meg. Meg's gonna win. The Meg, Meg versus, versus Orca. Orca. Meg's gonna win. Got okay. Okay. Well, that's because I watched the Megalodon movies, and this Megalodon is not a regular Megalodon. <laughs> exactly. Mega but at steroids. But at the same time, it got beat by Jason Stratum. So unless you're trying to tell me that an Orca Orcas is going, is not Jason Statham, <laughs> and not Free Willy. If you name any other Orca, fine. Free Willy became friends with a human. Orcas don't do that. Real orcas don't do that. You're right. That nigga's a friendly orca. He's <laughs> gonna get kill fucking instinct. smoked. You're right. You don't like, got to kill instinct. He's gonna get murdered. <laughs> Michael Jackson sang a song about this guy. He's not a killer. This nigga say he got both his parents. <laughs> In a real good marriage. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just oh, saying that's shit. a bad thing when you go against a genetically modified Megalodon. <laughs> if you don't know karate, you can't beat that <laughs> Megalodon. <laughs> Am I wrong? Jason Statham knows karate. Oh, shit. That's funny as fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. I'm a roll with it. I'm a roll with it. So our, for our final battle, I feel like we can do this one of two ways. There's different ways to talk about this. We might have to handicap them, or if we get them full force, we're going to see. Talking about, we can't do a celebrity animal battle. Because I feel like if you're a fan, you've been waiting for the name to come up at some point. And it did, and it did, yeah. it didn't come out at any point. How do you have tournament with all these different animals that do all these different types of things and you don't mention the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You it's have to. Gotta fucking mention the turtles. But as an anti thesis of the fucking turtles, you know what I mean? I've mentioned all these other teams such as the Street Sharks. I mentioned Black and Mice from Mars. There's also a group of cats that might have a thing or two to say. The fucking Thundercats, nigga. Thundercats Versus the Ninja Turtles. Now, before you give me an answer, we have to decide, are we using regular Ninja Turtles? Do they have the mythical weapons that the teleport they, they shit? Need, they need the mythical weapons. Because if they get the mythical weapons, then we got to get the Thundercast, the Sword of Omens, when they power but up. That's, but that's what I'm saying. So are when we talking them about them powered up? Without, without the... Because, like, the Thundercats are not a group. So you have to give the Ninja Turtles mythical because, like, if we was like, this is the Thundercats versus the Ninja Turtles, and like base, the Thundercats slaughter them. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but like that's because the Thundercats by default have to have mythical weapons. Like they, they like, and like high key, the Ninja Turtles could smoke almost everybody else. Lionel will mow through them. Like, and it sounds like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm i not even a Thundercats fan. I just know that that sword, the, the sword of omens, the nigga. The sword of omens is fucking crazy. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. If so, we, we give, if the we Ninja doing power, we have to give the so Ninja we doing Turtles mythical, the weapons. mythical weapons. And we have to give the Thundercats the, the, their powered up shit, right? That's a crazy battle to me, son. 
Because you got the Ninja Turtles with Leonardo with the teleporting sword. You got Mage, Michelangelo. You got a uh, uh, Construct, Raph. You know what I mean? You got Donatello with all the different types of machines and shit in his backpack, throwing rockets. But then you also have to factor in the Thundercats when they power up with that sort of omens, yeah, my nigga. That shit is fucking great. When Chitara powers up, and now she's like 10 times faster, my she's nigga. basically And my flash. son with the whip. Yeah, going yeah. Crazy. and they and got Pandora. the bolos. He just stopped it with that shit. And then you got Panthro. You got, you got the yeah. <laughs> You got Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. You know what I mean? My son Panther pull up in the in the in the escalator. I'm just saying that like it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's a scary battle between both sides. That's what I'm because, saying. Because like when they're like fully man. powered up, it's but like, I will I will say I will say, and this might be biased. This Ninja Turtles, it, because again, if we say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, technically, just like when they say Thundercats, they mean extended family as well. Okay, so say Teenage Mutant Ninja. <laughs> you add Casey Jones. You add Splinter. Like you get what I'm saying, and like we might not want to, but like because of the overwhelming forces and happening we might have to and then we might have to give them their best forms of whoever they are you get but what i'm I saying i still feel like that but tough, even though. then it's still tough and i'll say one of the reasons why i say it's because tough. i feel like it will really come down to chitara 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 yeah. chitara Pan- panthera panthera panthro panthro Panthero and lionel versus the main four turks and like I feel like that'll be like the final like. So for me, like answer. trying to come up with an answer, the Ninja Turtles. One of the toughest things the Ninja Turtles fought was Shredder, who was a human. Didn't fuck with turtles. These niggas was fighting a demon. They were son. fighting demons and shit. Yeah. So I still Thunder think was I still demons, think they nigga. edge it because I've. Damn, I'm old, <laughs> but like as a young nigga, I've watched my uncles watch Thundercats. Some of the shit them niggas was fighting was different. No, no, no. And, and I literally seen all the rest of them just be obliterated. And then Lionel by himself being like, I got to put this on my back Nigga. is Jordan. Like, he's Jordan. Like I, And like I love the Ninja Turtles because they have amazing teammates. And also, I also love them because of the reason why I think they might lose this is because there is no Jordan on the that the Ninja Turtles get shared love. Whereas, like, when there's a show with a nigga that's like, I'm the last nigga, and it, I'm against 15, 50, 100, 1,000, the strong, one strongest nigga ever, I'm going to rally all of those and just... That's what, I was, like, yeah, that's what I was about I to say. The he, one thing that, it. while you add mythical weapons, there's one thing that you have to add, the Thundercats have, that the Ninja Turtles don't, don't have, and it's that that last minute power up mm-hmm. where it's like when the Ninja Turtles are down, unless you these niggas have a good speech for each other, they're done. But all it takes is line. All it takes if we could edit this shit in there, you get like the Thundercat theme. Once you hear that, dun, 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 and he put that sword up and he says thunder. Spooky hours, my nigga. <laughs> Cause once he you let that nigga say that shit three times. No, I seen a moment. <laughs> Where they was fighting one nigga, the nigga was smoking everybody. Like when I say everybody was at the peak of their game, like everybody's doing their thing, like they going crazy. <laughs> he just smoking everybody. He like slapping Lionel down and then smoking everybody. <laughs> that person's gone. Boom. That person's gone. Even snar- snar- <laughs> boom. Backhand slap that nigga, bro. Like and the nigga Lionel was like, he hurt my finger. Under. <laughs> And once that shit happens, bro, everybody wake up, eyes light up. It's done. It's different, son. It's It's different. It's done. And I feel like basically resurrect niggas. Yeah. So I feel like why is he's not whimsical? That sword is whimsical, son. Because it's an instant power up once they need it, and they always wait until the last possible minute. He got to He got to fight. He man. (laughs) Word. They got to have like a one on one or some shit. But like I said. 
I couldn't have a tournament of celebrity animal niggas and not Damn, mention the Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles against the niggas they would lose to. I, I, yo, I it's it's it, to me it was still close until the Thunder shit comes out, my nigga, because these niggas have Michelangelo's a sorcerer, my nigga, like. That nigga changed niggas. time and shit. These niggas fight sorcerers regularly. It's true. Mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> he be putting them niggas in a bit of a blender, though. Like, they be having to use the thunder <laughs> they shit. Gonna, yeah, they gonna they be, be having to use up. the thunder shit. I'm just saying, like, it was, I'm just it, it saying, was hard for me to just end it without. it will be Lionel at that with the sword. And then it, it's over. It's, now, I don't think the Ninja Turtles, the Ninja Turtles kind of... This is gonna sound crazy because I love Ninja. They've never shown me until like that's Ronan that they finish off of uh, like their opponents before that they too. Can do shit. Like, that too. They let their opponents do shit and then they figure out how to win afterwards. I would say the only other kickback I have is I know the Ninja Turtles can die. Yeah, three of them niggas died, <laughs> and the third, the fourth one went into hiding. Niggas don't hide in Thundera, nigga. Yeah. We got we set up a castle here. We have here. a lion. <laughs> we have a we have a castle here. Niggas got cars and shit, bro. We like, got a sassy cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We got we got we got the glove shit. The the iced out gloves. They be wilding. They be you know wilding. I mean? We can't do nothing. <laughs> you gotta put them against like He Man, bro. <laughs> so um yeah no that was the final um final battle you know what I mean we. The fact that this shit went so well, we gonna have some more whimsical That's anime, right. uh, uh, animal fucking battles. You know what I mean? We just had to switch it up because we know you're used to the super powered animals. You know what I mean? But we wanted to, you know, there's other niggas out there that's doing their thing. You know what I mean? You know, um, it's the first thing I thought about when you said this when we made uh, uh, the werewolf Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, <laughs> everybody was mad scared of the of the werewolf Dwayne. Dwayne the Rock yeah, Johnson. yeah, and that's that what I'm saying. Sense. That's what I'm saying. So we have to, you know what I mean? We have to switch it up and actual use actual animals. Uh, shout out to my son, Caesar. You know what I mean? Shout out to Peppa. Shout out to uh, Bay Puss in Boots. All these niggas. All these niggas out there doing it. Uh, uh, top, top cat. You know what I mean? All these niggas out there doing their thing. You know what I mean? We see the you. Goddamn mice from Mars. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, Mars. cocaine bear. Cocaine bear. Oh. Happy feet. You know what I mean? Shout out to all y'all niggas. Um... If you disagree with us on some of these, we, yo, you know where to Wanna find us. It. You know what I mean? Um, so as all, well, you have any final words before we wrap? Anything uh, you want to tell the people? My final words. Oh no, not final words. Just your final thoughts on the battles and all that shit. My fi- well, my final thoughts. Okay, on the okay. Battle would be uh, gotta I gotta see what the mice is about. Yo, the them things is different, son. Kind of different. <laughs> hey, about it, huh? <laughs> It kind of strange to me. <laughs> if Mars, nigga, much. and I also gotta see what Top Cat's about. <laughs> so you can say, I got, I got research to do, nigga. Yeah, I, I do got research. research. I got some research. Know what I mean, um, if you're listening to this, uh, and you, you're not super familiar, maybe you gotta go back and watch some YouTube clips on Underdog. You know what I mean? This is a good chance to watch some of them old school whimsical cartoons. They're and hilarious. Shit. You know what I mean? Samurai Pizza Cats. You know what I mean? Check them niggas out. Um, but yeah, as always, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast, providing you with that high quality nerd commentary. Subscribe, leave a review, tell a friend. We on Patreon. You know what I mean, if you're listening to this on Spotify right now, imagine how much better of an experience you would have if you were a member of our Patreon, watching us talk this us. shit right now. You know what I mean? Instead of just you see me throw yo, you can see us throwing. pondering answers and shit, trying to figure this shit out instead of just listening. But we do still appreciate you listening. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, you got the Patreon, sign up for the Gene Lantern, it's five bucks a month, or, you know what I mean, if you want to real, if you want to be part of a streaming service that does not raise their prices, you know what I mean, you don't want to deal, you don't want fucking Netflix, Disney, Hulu, all in the videos, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> sign up to Dennis Plus, you know what I mean, get that chain, you know what I mean, join the gang, you know what I mean, ten bucks a month, like I said, Price doesn't change. You don't care you about the, your podcast. You we don't about care. Twenty dollar dates. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. And you know all that mean? bullshit. Then pull Yo. up over here. Man. You know what I mean? We got the night DVM pod on there. We got some other pods on the way. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, as always, you can find me on all social media sites as Old Dirty Dennis. Uh, that's O L D I R T Y D E N N I S. You can find my cards, my prints. Maybe I might do some of these battle shits. I might do some quick limited edition. You know what I mean? 
pull up, you might see Top Cat versus uh, uh, Puss in Boots, like a real crazy print, like three limited edition. You know what I mean, grab that shit before the Etsy uh, lawyers try to sue me for putting up copyright yeah, material. You know I mean, I didn't do it. It's gone. What do you want me to do? Um, Art by Den. You know what I mean? D E N N. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe you get some cards for some of the losers of this uh fucking danger room. Know what I mean, nice. the Ninja Turtles might need four. You know what I mean, that's a fact. <laughs> you might need yeah, six yeah, if you do yeah, extended family yeah. or seven. You might have to send one to uh to Splinter because his kids died. You know what I mean? He might need a card. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? Um, you can find my son Colton though. The Colton Show underscore underscore T H E C O L T O N S H O W. The two underscores on two. Twitter. And then the Colton Show on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. Everywhere. Everywhere. YouTube. Yes, Colton sir. Coltonshow.com. That's my website. Mm-hmm. Uh, Myportfolio.thecoltonshow.com. Yes, sir. Uh, send us home, bro. Give us a final quote after this crazy celebrity deathmatch type shit. Um, sorry to tell you right now. <laughs> Yo, we are.